Well, what's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use one of my favorite drum plugins, 40's, very own drums from 40 himself. Let's get into it. I love 40, and that makes up for the fact that I hate drum machines and drum samplers. Like, I would just rather take the samples from Splice, drop them into my FL Studio beat grid, and then just start making a beat that way. It's just a lot easier to work with instead of having to like route stuff through contact, which I've always found to be really hard, and I just ended up running it through one channel. But this sampler makes up for it because one, 40 is awesome, one of my favorite producers, super creative. Two, the samples are so good, routing them through one channel it's gonna be okay. This is what it looks like. It loads into contact, obviously, since it's from Native Instruments. And I'll just go ahead and play a simple programmed beat. And it's a lot of these kind of sounds, these softer, warmer, better for like slow jams, uh, definitely like an R&B. There's a couple like hard, more trappier kits, but this is kind of mostly what you're working with. And definitely sounds like 40 styled samples. And then these macros along the bottom. Saturation connects to a built-in saturator. Crush connects to a built-in bit crusher. Mix up affects the pitch of some samples. It like drops them down. So you can hear that snare and the tom get dropped down. Kind of a cool um, way that you can just adjust the way a beat sounds without doing anything too complicated. Then reverb, delay. Definitely great for this style of music. And then the 40 knob. What is a 40 knob? And um, how do you use it? You, you turn it up, so what you do. It just 40 -ifies the drum beat. Check this out. You get that underwater sound, that super warm, not a lot of high end. And it works by changing and adjusting a lot of effects that are built into this. And we we'll get into that in a second. But it's just a cool little thing. If you want to get a little bit more lo-fi, more 40 style, you just turn up the 40 knob. That makes sense. And it's like that on 40's very own keys, the synth version of this plugin. So we also have tune tunes all the samples, pretty self-explanatory, and level built-in gain. If we go into the kit, this is where we see most of the juice for how this plugin works. Right here, it gives you the option of what sample. You can change it. I've got this triangle loaded in on here on this percussion, but I could change it to something else, maybe a shaker. Well, let's, let's change our snare, actually. kind of cool different style for sure you can also select your choke group the hat is obviously choked uh, that's like when one trigger cancels another so if you have an open hi-hat and then a closed it stops the open one go ahead and change that to none if you want to do complex hat rolls pitch for the individual sample volume for the individual sample pan velocity curve and then if you turn any of these dials it'll activate attack hold decay to shape it if you wanted to I could see turning the decay down in the snare. It's kind of cool. And then super important is this high pass, low pass filter. Works really well. And this for me, like I go to this a lot since I'm running it all through one channel on the FL Studio mixer, it's easy to make adjustments with this thing here. Usually it's EQing when I'm mixing drums or volume. So that gives me a lot of control there. You can insert effects. You can go in and add, you know, individual effects to these guys. Maybe I'll add a chorus to the snare. Sounds pretty good. You can see that some of the controls for these pads. I can mute the snare or solo it, and then I can also link it. So if I say, I'll put it on link group two, and then we'll link this triangle. It'll trigger, trigger the triangle anytime the uh, snare is triggered. All right, to pattern. Now this section shows you uh, some of the built-in patterns. Uh, it's 16 of them. You can find them on the higher range of the keyboard. And it gives you a little suggested BPM. It says 75 for Queen Alley Kit. So if I turn it down to 75, um, I'll trigger some of those so you can get a feel for those. Mm -hmm. 
Most of these are pretty simple. Very 40-esque. But it's nice to have an idea, some different ideas as to what you could do with these drum sounds. And if you want, you could just use these for beats in your production too. Because some of them aren't that bad. I mean, I presume 40 worked on some of these. So, of course, they're going to be pretty sweet. Effects rack. You've got your insert effects uh, like I showed you with the snare. You've got global. And with insert, I think you can click around give you an idea on the effects on each one. Uh, global, um, this is what's going on down here. So if I click on the saturator and then I turn up the global there, that's that effect. Uh, we've got quite a few of them. I'm not gonna click through all of them. Uh, send effects, these are my sends. I can change the size of my reverb. Uh, usually I would use some other sort of reverb or delay if I wanted to do that, but it's there if you want it. Macros. This is controlling the macros, so you can see if I click saturation, saturation controls the saturation amount on that effect that we just looked at. Crush, you know, that's the bit depth on the bit crusher from the effects that we just looked at. Now the mix up one is interesting because you can see it affects a lot of things, the pitch on a bunch of pads, so that's why doesn't affect the kick it just affects this selection and then of course the 40 knob which is definitely worth looking at because it affects a lot of things a lot of different effects are affected when you turn this global 40 knob one thing i will note is that there's a lot of great samples um, if you don't like one of the sounds of the kit you can just go ahead go into all the kits from this and find a lot of good stuff. And this way, maybe you like the kit, it's just one of the sounds is off, you can go ahead and change those pretty easily. And then I'll click through these kits real quick so you can get an idea of the different sounds. That's very like Marvin's Room-esque. Super lo-fi, I'm not sure about this one, I don't really like that one. This is super tight. I love the kick and snare combo. And the hi-hat. I love this. I love this kit. This is a dope kit. A really huge kick. It could be useful. This is another pretty mainstream. Nice clap. Nice kick. Warm, but still punchy. This is probably good for like R&B. It's got a pretty crushed kick and then a pretty knocky snare. Really small snare, but it, it slaps. Nice kit. A big kick. That's kind of nice. I don't know about this one either. Kick slams. Snare's a little warmer. Another super soft kit. A really clicky hi-hat, almost like a laser. That's a pretty mainstream, uh, mainstream kit. And we're back to Queen Alley. Hopefully this gets you an idea on how to get started with this plugin, some of the things that are unique about it, and how you can use it to its full capacity. And at 70 bucks, you've got a lot of bang for your buck from one of the best producers in the game and native instruments. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I appreciate you. We'll catch you on the next one.